This is VLMP1 and this is VLMP2, so called because it's the third iteration. Hmm. Let's not worry about the numbering. This is the new VLMP and it's got a bunch of new and improved features that I want to talk to you about today. You probably already know that PCBWay offer high quality PCBs, but did you know they also have a 3D printing and CNC manufacturing service? Start by uploading your file to get an instant quote and design for manufacturer feedback. You can choose from a wide range of processes and materials to get just what you need at the quality that you expect. Make your payment and manufacturer lead time is just two days away, keeping you up to pace with many industries such as automotive, medical, dental, aerospace or consumer electronics. Track your orders online and receive your delivery on time and on budget. Get started today with the link in the video description. Thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this segment of the video. Let's kick things off with some new features, starting with the addition of heat set inserts. So you might be wondering, how can you insert heat set inserts before you have the heat set insert press assembled? Ah, well that's where I've done a smart thing. So obviously with this one, we didn't use any heat set inserts because you couldn't use it until it was finished. Whereas this one, because we've added these kind of aesthetic cover panels and cover pieces, you don't have to have those on to have a fully functioning iron. So during the assembly manual, we get to a point where the iron is, or the tool, as I should say, is fully functional, but we don't have the cover parts on yet. So we then use the fully functional tool to add the heat set inserts to the remaining parts, and then we finish off the assembly. Not only do you get to use the press during the assembly, but you get an example of how to use heat set inserts into your design. The next new thing is sort of a new overall appearance. In this one, it was kind of a sort of curvy, but minimalist and functional design in that you can see all the working parts and we've just used the minimal amount of material to achieve the necessary job. Whereas with VLMP2, we focused a bit more on the overall aesthetic, given this kind of aggressive angular design, which I think looks really nice. It does, of course, use a little bit more material. I don't know, it just looks more like a finished professional tool than the older design. The next few features are all about this awesome new base. Obviously, previously we had a kind of a very minimal design, whereas now we've integrated a bunch of cool new features into this new fully 3D printed base. Firstly, these flip up doors for storing the tips. So the tips for your soldering iron will be coming in a bunch of different sizes and it's useful to have somewhere to store them on the tool itself. So they're always accessible if you need to change them out. Just make sure you don't put the hot ones directly into the plastic base. Leave them to cool and then store them away. The next little storage item we've got is these open trays at the back. These are not so much for permanent storage, but rather as you're using the tool and you want to stash the heat set inserts that you're going to place into the parts, this is a really fantastic place to store them. I've kept it nice and flush with the base, so if you need to be able to move your part and wiggle it around and you need to use that space, you can still use it. It still will support your part in the insert process. So that's two new things about the base. The third thing is under here. These three parts here are all a counterweight. So while on the old design, we had some, I mean, it was pretty stable, but if you went a little bit too far, it would very easily fall over. Side to side, a little bit wibbly wobbly. Not too bad, really, I don't think, considering most of the time you're gonna be holding it like this. So like, it's hard to knock over. But with the new design, this really wide base gives it lots of stability, both left and right, as well as backwards. Okay, maybe not quite that far, but the weights in the front help it tip forward. So you're, you've got a much, a much more stable design overall. The last thing in the base is just the addition of these soft anti-slip feet. For some reason, I don't have one here, but obviously the point is that it doesn't slip around on the surface, whereas this one did. And the final new addition is of course, color. So this one obviously in black and gold, whereas the original design was all just mainly printed in single color black. Don't worry though, if you don't have a multi-material printer, all of this can still all be done on a single color printer. You can alternatively just print this without the logo or this without the hexagons, and that's the easiest route. But we also have multi kind of multi-part files, so you can print the body and a bunch of little hexagons and glue them all in. It's up to you which one, which route you want to go. 
but a lot of it is just individual parts anyway so like the a lot of the base these big accent parts around here these are all just separate parts anyway so nice and easy lots of color lots of accents and of course options for customizability which is really nice as well now let's move on to some improved features firstly the idler we had a few complaints were they complaints i don't think anyone really had major problems but they observed that if this went down too fast then the belt would kind of jump off the idlers and i think it was just a general concern it's nothing there's not a lot holding it on so in the new design we've added a full enclosure to that idler it holds on with just a single screw so very easy to add and it just means that belt just can't go anywhere like whatever i do that belt is going to stay on those pulleys and it's not gonna it's not gonna fall off it's not gonna go side to side it's not going anywhere at all another addition we've made to the idler is a tidier cable management slot which is now in here below the grip whereas before it was kind of this sort of afterthought looking thing above the grip we've also included zip ties in the kits so it's very easy to do the zip ties for the right sizes for these things all included obviously i've not added a cable here but it just goes in this slot along here the next improved the next improved feature is the bump stops the one at the back is now a spring which gives a much nicer kind of softer stop to that counterweight as it comes down and on the front the end stop is now toolless before we needed a screw to be able to adjust it up and down which of course would have been a bit of a pain if you're kind of mid-flow and you want to adjust that to where it needs to be whereas now just a nice little thumb screw will allow you to adjust it up and down to wherever you need. Another improved feature is that we now have fewer different types of screws for doing the assembly. It's not a big deal necessarily, you may not even notice, but it does mean that the likelihood of using the wrong screw and the ease of reading those instructions is a little bit easier because we've reduced the number of different size and types of screw down to just a few. This one we've tried to get all those lengths that were close together, the sizes and heads that were kind of similar, and make them all one size. So much easier to assemble just on the basis of finding the right parts. The final improvement that we've made is to the soldering iron grip situation. So initially we didn't have any kind of specific support for soldering irons, like you could kind of use any of them, but we didn't have a specific one in mind. Now we do have this specific soldering iron in mind. We do sell this one, so you can get it on the website. And then of course we have the grips for this design too. We also have grips on the website for TS100 and TS101 because it's a slightly customized shape because it's a weird little grip. But yes, that's now available for both of those irons. But any iron is still kind of supported, not sort of officially, but we have a grip and instructions coming in a video soon of how to adjust that grip very, very easily. It's just kind of measuring and doing a taper all in a kind of parametric fusion model is like super easy. I've like, I've done it so that you basically just measure through numbers, type them in some boxes and you get a new grip. So that grip is now available for anyone with instructions coming soon. And we support all of those different sizes. So you can use pretty much any soldering iron that you like. Fantastic. So I think the last thing you'll probably need to know is how to get VLMP2. Well, there are a couple of options. Firstly, upgrading. If you already have VLMP, we have an upgrade kit to change from VLMP to VLMP2. A lot of the hardware is common, so there's just a few bits that you need to make the swap over. You'll then need to print your own parts and all the SDRs are included in that upgrade kit purchase, so you don't need to get them separately. Importantly, you don't need to reprint the grip, but you do need to print all of the STLs for this new design as they are all pretty much new. So of course the other option, if you don't already have VLMP, is to get everything kind of from scratch, if you like. So we have STLs available separately if you want to kind of DIY or sort of self-source the whole thing, if that's what you want to do. We also have the hardware kit on its own, which comes with STLs, so you don't have to worry about buying those separately. And then you can also get the grip, the soldering iron, and the tips as add-ons. So all of it is available if you want to get all of it apart from the printed parts. You do need to do those yourself with the exception of the grip, which we can provide you in ABS for TS101 and Handskit 927. Thanks again to PCBWay for sponsoring this video and check out vector3d.shop for VLMP2 and other cool stuff related to 3D printing, of course, like cauliflower. Who doesn't use cauliflower? Goodness me. Okie dokie. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you 
in the next one.